Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathDuck.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Math Alliance game. If you're not familiar with MathDuck, we have over 200 free math games to play, as well as uh, logic, puzzle, and fun games, and they're always free, and there's never any sign-up or membership required. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the game. Now, this is the main menu, that when, what you'll see when you come into the game. Now, this particular game is our 8th version. Uh, we have some other versions on the way, and they'll probably, by the, by the time you see this video, probably be out there. But we'll have a Math Lines 4 all the way through Math Lines 15, and they only vary uh, by just the total that you're, you're trying to get on each game. Uh, we'll also have an integers version that has both positive and negative numbers uh, that you'll try to get certain totals with. Okay, if you click the high scores button, it'll show you the high scores, but let's go ahead and click the start. Give you a quick uh, uh, written instructions on how to play. And you click the start button, and the game starts. Now, this plays like Zuma, and with the math twist, I should say. And, and the object is to get rid of all these marbles before they travel all the way around here. And you've got to get them before they get over here and go in the hole. Um, so the way you do that is by making... Uh, shooting this marble here into another marble that makes totals eight. So you've got two here. I need to hit a six to make eight, and that marble will disappear. And actually, there were some more combos made, and they disappeared. Evidently, there was some on either side of it that when they hit together, they made a total of eight. So let's go ahead and keep playing. What I want to show is uh, when the tokens, uh, when a coin shows up, what that does for you. And a couple of things you can play, if you're good enough, you can sit to keep the mouse away and aim. But if you really want to be precise, and in later levels where it gets a little bit more complicated, you may need to do it. I, I like to put the cursor right on the number I want to hit. And there's that coin that showed up right there. And I'll show you what that does if I can clear off this a little bit before it, uh, where I can shoot it. Um, and let's see if I can do that. Okay, now if I shoot it, what it does is the pairs that match, that make 8, are, are the same color. So 6 and 2 make 8, so they're the same color. 4 and 4 make 8, so they're the same color. 5 and 3 are the same color. And what that does is when I've got a 6 here, I need to shoot one of the same color. It may not be this one, the 6, but it's going to be this one, the other, other one. So it kind of helps you to play, and you've only got a limited amount of time to do that. Uh, they show up and, and last for a little bit of time, but uh, they can certainly help you out. Now, I'll go ahead and play it a little bit longer. Um, you can see where this travels around. But basically, that's how you play. And uh, the next level is a little bit different. It's a little bit more complicated. There's more marbles and multiple paths. Let me go ahead and shoot that coin again so you can see what it does. It changes colors again. So if you look at all the purple ones, they're, they're either 3 or 5, and that makes 8, or the other 7, the reds are 7 and 1s, that makes 8. So it kind of gives me an indication that when i got a red one here, I'm going to have to definitely hit a red one, and it helps you pick them out uh, a little bit quicker. And so when you get uh, on the later levels where it's a little bit harder, and see when the coin effect went away, it changed back the way it was. And uh, so on later levels, that coin will help you, and it's a nice little bonus to help you out there when you when you're playing. Um, anyways, I hope you uh, hope this video helped. I hope you like playing our games, and thanks for watching.